that morning I awoke and went down just as I was in my green slippers to look at the Hydrangea Maresii, the only flower Clifton allows in the garden, for he must have his trees and shrubs. Out I crept, my slippers darkening in the dew, and hearing a movement behind me, I turned and found Ruth. She was carrying the rackets, and so, smiling, not speaking, we ran between the great bushes to the net, and there we played, quietly, of course, so that Uncle Edward might not hear. Until the breakfast gong recalled us, we ran up the back stairs on Des Abbeys, and down the front one, decorous but tardy, and kissed Uncle Edward, but I took care to embrace him as he likes best, to forestall reproof. Color rose up behind his mustache, and his face worked silently. But then he vanished, as usual, behind the times. <laughs>